All right. Namaste. Welcome, everybody. I am Bonsuri Bliss founder, Dr. Kerry Krieger, May 17th, 2020. And I'm going to teach some Bina Shudja. So I'm going to turn on my tambora. My sore petty and my swarming doll. F plus eight cents. Bina Shudja. Important. Ma. The first string of your tambora should be at Ma. I have two tamboras playing. The first string on each is at Ma. Why at Ma? Because there is no Pa in this Raga. And if there's no Pa in a Raga, you need to use a different note. And you have a choice. Most of the time it'll be Shid Ma. But if there's no Shid Ma, then you're not going to use Shid Ma either. In this Raga, there is a Shid Ma. On top of there being a Shid Ma, it's the Vadi, the most important note. And therefore, we're going to use it. Alright, we have a very special guest arriving.
Dagena da Turkita Dikita Dagena Da Turkita Dina Gatina Tinakina Takena Ta Turkita Dikita Dagena Da Turkita Dina Gadina Dinagina We can take that rhythm and put it into Bonsuri even if we just pick one note the easiest way to learn a new rhythm is just play the rhythm on a single note. I've never played that in my whole life, okay? I just made that up. I just went up the scale, just like we always do when we're learning a new raga. Let's just go up the scale and down the scale. And it's teen tall, so I wanted to go eight up. Saga, ma, da, eh, did I start at me? Where did I start? No, I started at saw. Okay, so that's beat one on saw. Dagena, sa sa sa. Beat two, da tirkita, ga 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 ga. Tu tuku tuku with my tongue. Tu tuku tuku. Sa sa sa, ga 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 ga. Ma ma ma, da da da. Ni 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 ni, sa sa sa, ga ga ga. Ma ma ma. Brings us to the top. That's eight beats from sa. That's the eighth beat. So now let's descend for the second half of the cycle. From beat nine, ta ke na ta terkita, ma 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 ga 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 sa 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 ni 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 da 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 ma 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 ga 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 sa sa sa. Brings us to the bottom. Okay, is that clear? The rhythm is fully transferable. three or left the threes but it is teen tall if you're playing teen tall you don't always have to stick in tish or jati one two three one two three one two three four one two three four one two one two one 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 two one two one two three one two three one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four okay those are jatis one per beat one two one two one two per beat okay one two one two one two three one two three one two three one two three tishra jati tishra i believe means three okay ecto teen three tishra jati okay so we've just kind of blended in the tabla knowledge with the flute knowledge to give us an extra exercise that we can do to learn our being a shudja. So let me unshare that. All right, tukutu, correct. Tukutu, tukutu. If you're going slow enough, you can probably just go tu 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 tu. 
That's just two, two, two. But you could go two, two, two. I usually do a two, two, two if I'm going faster. Two, 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 two. Okay. All right. On that note, let's. I played some a lot before. Can you hear me? Okay, good. All right, let's see. Let me share my screen. And I wrote this up a few days ago. I wrote this up for Jow. Now, I wanted to teach this to Jow because... I wanted to find a Raga that would be easy to play. And some people have trouble with Paw. So instead of trying to play something with Paw, which is important if you want to get better at Paw, but why not just remove the Paw? And then you don't have to worry about the Paw. Okay, so if your Paw doesn't sound great, then play a raga with no paw and so this is a good one because it's all should notes so ma is the only note that is partially closed so it should not be too difficult it's only five notes you can go straight up you can go straight down there's not many rules and that makes it good for beginners okay da terakitta let me get this question Okay, Tishar Jati is one, two, three, 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 one, two, and three, and 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 da terakita, da terakita, da terakita, da terakita, one, two, and three, and it can be one and two and three, and all we've done is double the speed, but the one, two, three, one, two, three is still there, okay? One two three 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 four five six one two three four five six one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three one two 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 three that wasn't too smooth when I switched but the one two and three and is the da terakita one two and three and okay you could go one two and three one two and three one two and three and one and two and three, one and two and three, one and two and three, one two three, one two three, one and two and three, one and two and three, one two and three, one two and three, one two three and one two three and one two three and okay. Alright, all the different ways that you can just change up where that and is where you've doubled the speed. One, two and three and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and three, and. All right, let's go back to our um, normal, more normal, we'll say, more common team tall, not in Tishar Jati, and. So that's a full avartan, a cycle, 16 beats. Okay. Saga, saga, sa, and hold it for the full four beats. Okay. Saga, saga, sa, breathe. Plenty of time to breathe right there. an Allen car so our goal is not to play it once and say ah, I got that 
Maybe if you played it once and it was thoroughly perfect and nothing could possibly sound any better. But even if you played it perfectly, good, play it a few more times so it really gets ingrained in you. And if you play it perfectly and you think that's enough, can you alter it? Can you figure out a way to vary it? Can you change the ornamentation? Can you add in gummits? Morky? Can you change the rhythm slightly? Such as... Okay, I just change the rhythm. Okay, two, 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 two. Tuku 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 tu. Do you need it to be four beats of space there? Sa a a a. Maybe add in another note into that space. Change it every single time if you want, but first get it precisely as it's written on the page without any gummick, and then with gummick or some type of ornamentation. And then you can experiment as you wish. So anytime you see any music written, Indian classical music, learn it as it's written. Make sure that you can play it as it's written. And then if you want to experiment, start experimenting and improvise, change it up, but all with some logic behind it, okay? You wanna be doing something that you understand. Alter the music, but with some logic and make sure that it sounds good. And if you can't do it, if you went all the way up and almost all the way down and then you made a mistake, then definitely do it again. All right, so I started out I'm going to share my screen again. All right, let's talk about some other stuff on this page. We've got an Arohi and an Avarohi, the ascending scale and descending scale. All the notes are should, all right? So it's from a natural scale. We're leaving out the second and we're leaving out the fifth. So. I've got a uh, bonus prize for anyone who can chat in. What do I mean when I say we've left out the second and we've left out the fifth? Chat in in any terms that you want that makes it clear that you understand what I mean. If you know what I mean, first person to chat that in correctly is going to get a bonus gift. We've left out the second and we've left out the fifth. I'm assuming that you answered correctly, but I don't know what Varjit means, so can you... Okay. Alright, good. Not used. Correct. The second is Re. Sa's the first, Re's the second, Ga's the third, Ma's the fourth, Pa's the fifth, Da's the sixth, Ni's the seventh. Okay, so if you're ever wanting to play music with someone with Western music background, the simplest way for you to communicate with them is to talk in terms of one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right. So we have a natural, the, the one is always, it's not ever natural or sharp or flat or comal or tever. It's just what it is. The one is always the one. We have a natural third, a natural fourth, a natural sixth, and a natural seventh. Okay. They're all should. 
Okay, good. So, um, Krushna, I think you won something last time, too. Go ahead and email me. Say, send me my bonus. Okay. So, let's continue to talk about this page. We've got our Arohi and Avarohi, same up and down, pentatonic scale, five notes up, five notes down. Vadi, emperor note. Most important note is Ma. Samvadi, the second most important note, high sa. I'm going to drop down to the bottom on that note because whenever we have a body or somebody that's high octave, chances are it's an Uttarang Raga. Uttar means high, I believe. Vina Shudja is an Uttarang Raga. It's a high note Raga, meaning the upper octave is more prominent than the lower. Okay? So some Ragas tend to have more either in the low notes or the high notes than other ragas. It's an evening raga. Of importance is that we set the tambor to ma. All right, the first string of the tambor is so that the tambor, if there's four strings on the tambor, they're playing ma, sa, sa, sa. Most ragas, it's pa. But bina shudge, it's ma. So make sure that you have ma going whenever you're playing bina shudja. All right, so I'll just say one other thing, and I'll let you ponder this for a long time, as I have. Bina Shudja, you people who speak Hindi can uh, tell me if I'm correct. I believe Bina means other or different. Is that correct? Maybe you can chat in. What is the meaning of Bina? Okay, Shudja is the first note of our scale, Sa. Okay, that's the pro full name for Sa. All right? So it's the other saw. What does it mean by that? The other saw. And Vinna is different. Different, correct. It's different. So it's a different saw. What does that mean? It's a raga with the name different saw. So here's what I believe it means. We have our tambora going at ma. We have two notes going on in the background, ma and saw. We're used to assuming that sa is the first, is the main note against which all the others are based. But if we took ma to be our sa, because also ma is vadi, so we are playing a lot of ma, which then becomes which, which is which, the ma or the sa, because if you took your ma to be the main note and the other note going to be the other notes of the tambora. If ma suddenly were called sa, or if we called that ma our main note, the first note of our scale, the sa now is the pa in relation to the ma, okay? For the distance from sa to pa is the same as the distance from ma to that high sa. In which case, if the ma were, that we're playing from this note, we're considered sa, the first note of our scale, then we have a completely different raga precisely at Amrit Varshini. Okay, so if I played the rag Amrit Varshini, the sound of it, you may notice, has some similarities to Bina Shaja. So, I probably just confused most of you, and that's fine, because it'll give you something to think about, and I'll, I'll help you out here in your contemplations by telling you that the notes of Amrit Varshini are Sa, Ga, Tivra, Ma, Pa, Ni, Sa. So if you examine the distances between each of those notes in Amrit Varshini starting at Sa, you'll find that they're precisely the same distance as the notes in Bina Shudja if we were to start at Ma. So that's where I believe the name Bina Shudja comes from. So back to the music. Let's move down the page. I wrote up this Allen car and that was going to be all that I did. Okay. But Jao was wise enough to notice that I had made an error 
I had left out a dot, I believe, or something was left out, as often happens. One rule of writing music is that in all likelihood you made a mistake. Okay? So Zhao noticed my mistake. I've fixed it now. And when I fixed it, I thought, okay, how about I just make a second page of music? So this Alan Carr, I say it faces up. Sa, ga, sa. Okay? Sa, ga, sa. Ga's above sa. And then we move up the scale. So I flipped it. Pretty much any Alan Carr, you can flip it upside down. And that brings us to this page. Sa, ni, sa, ni, sa. Same pattern, but it's like a mirror vertically reflected it. So now it's sa, ni, sa, ni, sa. So now we've doubled our exercises. I'm going to turn on my tabla. A couple things that I thought of while playing that. One, your goal is not to play this while looking at it, but to be able to play it while not looking at it, okay? So when I was playing that, I realized, oh, I've been looking at the screen, I'm gonna look out at the ocean, which is right over there. So I'm looking at the ocean, playing it, and then on the way down, I thought about something else. My concentration, my concentration slipped. I haven't practiced these. I wrote it up and I played it a few times. And then I messed up on the way down, okay? So that also made me think, you gotta, these exercises are good for your concentration. You're forcing yourself to play something exactly in a predictable manner. And the other thing is, if I mess up on the way down or on the way up, if I mess up anywhere, you gotta play it again. That's the rule, don't move on. If you haven't played it perfectly, it's not time to move on yet. It's only time to move on if you've played it all the way up and all the way down perfectly. And still you could keep repeating it. All right, so we have it facing up, we have it facing down, and then at the bottom of the screen, I doubled the speed. Okay, not the speed of the tubla. The tubla keeps doing the same thing. I double my speed. And I could have written this out for the first one too. So take the same rhythmic concept of double speed and apply it to the first Allen card. change up the rhythm if you want. I could instead of holding each of these is four beats long. Sani Sani Sa. Okay? Because the Sa is two beats long. I can make that Sa one beat. Just make each of these things three total beats long instead of four beats long. Alright? I'm not going to come out at the same spot. Each of those was three beats long. Sani, sani, sa, gasa, gasa, ga. Okay? So, because I'm 
And then instead of just coming up to Psy, I went all the way up to Ma. So I went up two extra levels. All right. Let me, before I unshare my screen, I'll give you one other piece of info. There's a similar Raga, Koshi Duani. It has the same scale, Sagama Dani Sa. All right, but it's a Porvung, a low note Raga. So Porvung, am I correct in meaning that means low in Hindi? Maybe one of you can chat in. Am I correct? Porvung means low, okay? So it's a low note Raga, and the Ga is prominent rather than the Ma. So if you're playing Koshi Duani, stay a bit lower, focus on the low notes a bit more, and have a lot of ga. Don't have a lot of ma. All right, let me unshare my screen. All right, so we have a good question. There are what I like to call families of ragas, where certain ragas have much in common with other ragas. One of the most straightforward ways to be in common with another raga is to use the same notes, okay? The same, uh, names of the notes, okay? Because technically, da is not the same as komal da, but they're both da, okay? So, the question was, mall cones, we can change all these notes to komal, yes, okay? So let's think about that. We're starting out, let's say that the family begins with all natural versions of the notes. Sagam all should. Sagama dani sa, as we have here. Up and down. Sani dama gasa. All right? Now, what happens if we add in one komal note? We could add in a komal ni. I'm going to turn off my doll. Let's add in a komal ni, or let's change the shid ni to a komal ni. All right, almost the same. Now, I don't know what this is called. Now, I've always wondered, and there was a point where I think that I knew what it was called, but I lost it and I don't know because there's tons of scales and some of them do not have a well-known raga associated with them. This one being one that I, maybe there's a well, a, maybe there's a raga and maybe it's not rare, but it's definitely not one of the common ragas, but I like to play it and I just converted another composition that I had been taught for a different raga and turned it into this and every now and then I play it. Let me clarify. Now I'm going sa ga ma da komal ni sa. Sa komal ni da ma ga sa. So is it clear that two ragas, one that uses sa ga ma da ni sa all should, and one that uses sa ga ma da komal ni sa are related? Is that clear? They're very similar. So. So that's a gut I play for that scale for which I don't even know the name of the raga and I've never given it a name. And there was a time where I thought I knew the name, but I've since forgotten. Okay. Now, what would happen if we had sa ga ma komal da komal ni sa? Ga ma komal da 
Komal ni sa. Alright, so Sundar Combs. Saga ma da ni sa. Nope. Lowercase, partially closed hole when I'm typing it in here. Okay. Trying to remember this. I do not play this very often. And I can't remember the guts. I won't attempt it right now, but that's the scale. Okay, Sundar cones, the beautiful cones. I believe Sundar means beautiful. Am I okay? I'm getting I'm getting my Hindi correct today. Can't speak a sentence of Hindi, but I know a lot of different words. Okay, now Sagama Komoda Nisa. I don't know what that is, and I've never tried to play it either. I don't think I've ever played that scale in my whole life. Sa ga ma komoda ni sa. I don't know what it's called. And I don't think I'd ever played it. What did I do just now? I took our scale exercise from being a shudja and I just changed the rhythm. I was still going sa ga sa ga sa, sa ga ga sa ga ga sa, or something like that with my tongue and went up the scale. Okay, so now. Look, we started out with a very simple exercise in Bina Shudja. We created one, two, three exercise. We could have doubled speed the first one. I varied those in many ways. Now we've changed the scale so we can multiply all of that by six. So we've come up with like 36 different ways that we can play that thing. Okay, now we're not done because we still have two more famous ragas, probably the two most famous ragas that use Saga Ma Dani Sa, and a bonus going out to whoever can tell me what are the two ragas that I still, or what are the two that I'm preparing to show you. I'll even give you a hint because Vivek already, I'll say, read what Vivek said and then just add one other famous raga to it. Meanwhile, I'll start with, um, well, I'll play it because I'll get to Malcolm's last. But here comes another, okay? <laughs> Komoga Shidma Komoda Shidni Sa. Okay, Sa ni Komoda Ma Komoga Sa. What's that raga? Name that raga. Alright. So, you all have been missing out all your Bonsari lives from Chandra Cones. Alright, Chandra Moon Cones. Let's notice that we have several cones ragas. So even in the name, they're related. So chandra cones, sa ga ma da ni sa. All right. So sa komoga shid ma komoda ni sa. And finally, mal cones is. Sagama Dani Sa. Hey, it's easy to type out. All right, 
So now we've comalized all of those notes. Sa, komalga, chidma, komalda, komalni, sa. Sa, komalni, komalda, ma, komalga, sa. All right, so we just came up with like eight different scales or so that are all sa, ga, ma, da, ni, sa, sa, ni, da, ma, ga, sa. And that means when we hear the ragas on a recording, we can now follow along with them a little bit better, even if you've never learned them, okay? So, Bina Shudja, rare, but not extremely rare. So there are definitely recordings of that. Mall cones, very common. Chandra cones, very common. Sundar cones, not too common. Um, and then the two that I didn't even know the names of. But any of them, and you can apply this to any families of ragas. So, if you just want to do scale practice or explore something different or write your own composition in something that you don't know anything for, then you can just change up the scale, change up the notes, understand what you're doing. Okay, you play being a shudja, you're tired of being a shudja, you want to change it up, change one of those notes to komal, and ideally know what raga you're playing, or at least remember, like, sa ga ma da komal ni sa, I don't know the name of it, but I remember it, I remember what it is. So, mall cones and chunder cones, very common, and the easiest of all of them is going to be being a shudja. Because every time you introduce a new partially closed hole, then you're introducing a bit of fingering difficulty. Okay? So, let's see. Send in your questions. That was a lot of ragas, so we've, we've learned some tabla... We've learned some rhythm, and we now know the scales for Bina Shudja, Amrit Varshni, Koshi Dwani, Chandra Cones, Mal Cones, Sundar Cones, and a couple unnamed ragas waiting for potentially you to make them famous and give them a name even, perhaps. They probably have a name. Most things you can think of, at least if they're straight up and down, they probably have a name. They're just not common. And I'll say that South Indian music has maybe even a more thorough naming nomenclature, naming system. So perhaps you can look into Carnatic music to determine the names of those scales. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right. Thanks, everyone, for joining in today. So I think that's a pretty good intro to being a Shudja, and that should give you a lot to think about and um, work on. You've got a lot of different scales. You can choose any of them. You know how to find other scales now, and you should feel free to uh, do that. Chaz, I'm glad you liked that. Um, so, if anyone ever wants to contact Shrikant, let me know. And I have a feeling if you were one-on-one -on -one with him, then he'd start you out on some very basic stuff. I know that whenever we get Tubla on here, it's, um, you know, completely new system. So, let's see... That's it. I'll try to announce I'm, what I'm thinking of. Maybe you guys can tell me your thoughts on this. My thought is to announce like a month of lessons at a time so you can add them to your calendar and maybe even pick a few and say like, on this day, I'm going to teach a certain Raga and it'll probably be more like this with me, me playing. And then pick a different day where it's kind of like you guys play and me listen which kind of helps me as far as editing the stuff if it's just one or the other. And I could even um, pick a certain Raga in advance for one of those days and maybe then leave a fourth day of the month completely open to uh, whatever happens. So that's my thought. Um, that's it. So thanks for being here. I am Dr. Kerry Krieger. Keep up your practice and enjoy your week. Bye.